for TV Addicts, where we give our contestants two minutes to guess the name of a TV show, TV character, or TV actor. I am your host, Sam Kalalea. But enough about me, let's meet our contestants. First up is Sandy. Hi, Sandy, how are Hi. you? I'm fantastic, thank you. Are you ready to play some TV trivia games? I can't wait. Excellent, also a contestant is Joe. How are Hello, you doing? Hello, Joe, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Are you pumped today? I am pumped, I'm Good ready to go. Good stuff, I'm glad to hear it. And finally, we've got Matt. How are you, Matt? I'm doing great, how are you doing, Sam? I'm doing great, I love the two thumbs thing you just did. It's the Isaac. Excellent, that's right, Isaac from Love Boat. Now, let's go over the rules quick. Two minutes, TV show, character, or actor. You've got a palette of questions there that we've supplied to you to give you kind of a, a road, maybe to the right answer, maybe in another direction. You're going to be asking these guys out here, and it is incumbent on you guys to answer yes or no correctly, even though all you will see on your monitors are the images of the answer. We won't supply answers to you guys. That's up to you and your TV trivia. And it's important to answer correctly, because if you don't, you lose five seconds. And in this game, time is everything, because whoever banks the most time gets to go up against me in the winner's round. You guys ready? Ready. Yeah. All right, I hope you're ready at home. Play along with us. Let's play Inside the Box. All right, Matt, you are up first, and you are guessing the name of a male character. Two minutes, start the clock. Sandy. Did his show debut in the 60s? No. Joe, did the show debut in the 80s? No. Sandy, did the show debut in the 70s? No. Joe, did the show debut in the 90s? Yes. Uh, Sandy, yes. is he a, is he in a comedy? Yes. Two yeses, good work. Uh, yeah. Joe, uh, does he have dark hair? No. Sandy, is he balding or bald? No. Uh, Joe, does his show revolve around work? Yes. Another yes, good work. Uh, two more for Sandy, a is he single? Yes. All right. Uh, sixteen. Joe, is he an adult? Yes. That's five. Stop the clock. Here is your first clue, Matt. He is played by an actor from the Kids in the Hall. We're looking for a character. Three seconds. Male character. All right, that's time. Start the clock again. Ask your next question, Matt. You got a minute ten left. Uh, Sandy, does he live in Seattle? No. Joe, does he live in New York? No. Sandy. Incorrect. That's a yes. That's a time penalty to you, Joe. Ask your next question, Matt. Uh, Sandy, does he love coffee? Yes. Who doesn't? Jo Joe, is his first name the same character as the actor who plays him? No. Incorrect. That's a yes. A big clue. 48 seconds left. You're looking at your case file. Good work. But ask another question. You're going to get a clue. Soon. Sandy, uh, is his love interest played by Heather Locklear? No. Joe, is he successful at work? Yes. All right. Sandy, is he a recovering alcoholic? Yes. Incorrect. That's a no. A time penalty for you, Sandy. 26 seconds left, Matt. Uh, Joe, are his parents divorced? No. Sandy, did he lose a sex-related contest? No. All right, we've got 14 seconds left, Matt. Come on, now ask a question. Joe, does he work as a hand model? No. Six seconds. Sandy, does he get married on the show? No. Two seconds, any guess at all? Dark. That's time, you didn't get it. The answer was Dave Nelson, played by Dave Foley on news radio. You were close, but you didn't get it. And that means only one thing. When we come back, Sandy is going to go inside the box. So join us. All right, folks, welcome back. Before the break, we had nobody banking any time. However, that doesn't mean that there wasn't a change in the score because Joe took a, t a couple time penalties for a minus 10. Matt is all even, and Sandy herself took one time penalty. She's at minus five. She's also inside the box. Let's catch up. Hey, Sandy. Hey. How you doing in there? I'm uh, fantastic. I like it in here. It's very comfortable <laughs> in there, very cozy. Uh, we had a top designer do it. Now, you're going to get two minutes. You're going to be trying to guess the name of a TV series. And I just want to caution everybody to read the questions on your palette exactly as they are written. 
because okay. it changes the meaning and it changes the answer sometimes, all right? Okay. And you folks at home, remember, play along. See if you can beat Sandy to the punch. You ready, Sandy? I am. All right, two minutes, start the clock. Joe, did it debut in the 60s? No. Matt, did it debut in the 90s? No. Joe, did it debut in the 2000s? No. Matt, did it debut in the 80s? No. Lots of no's. <laughs> Joe, did it debut in the 70s? Yes. Matt, is the show a comedy? Yes. Uh, Joe, are the characters mostly male? No. Matt, are the is the character's name in the title? Yes. Good one. Joe, are any of the main characters children? No. May I make a guess? If you want, stop the clock. What is your guess? Is it the Partridge family? It is not the Partridge family. That's okay. a five-second okay. time penalty. Start the clock. Joe, has it been made into a movie? No. Matt, is it mainly in a rural setting? Repeat the question. Is it mainly in a rural setting? Yes. That's incorrect. That's a no. A minute 13 left. Ask your next question, Sandy. Joe, does it revolve around work or a job? No. Incorrect. That's a yes. Matt, are any of the main characters married? Yes. All right, that's five yeses. Stop the clock. Here is your first clue, Sandy. Not the one with the bed and breakfast. Three seconds, TV show. May I show. make a, a, a Go guess? Go ahead, quickly. Bob Newhart show? The Bob Newhart show is correct. Great job, Sandy. Look how happy you are. You did it. With a minute left, you're going to bank that time. I swear, I didn't know if you had it there because I you went either. Partridge Family. That's, that's kind of two different shows. That's the way my brain works. So. Okay, now, so so what was it? Was it the bed and breakfast clue? Yes. Or that was yes. the biggest one for you? Yes, it was because there are two new new heart shows. And the bed and breakfast one was the one with Fran. The one with Fran. And, and the brother Daryl and the other brother Daryl. And that one was just called New Heart. That's right. New Heart Simply. Now, were you a fan of either of uh, Mr. New Heart's shows? I loved both of them. That's yeah. right. Remember yeah. the uh, the handyman? Daryl and his other brother Daryl. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And All in, right. real, in real life, Suzanne Plachette is married to the handyman. That's right. That's right. Good stuff. <laughs> Here's what else is good stuff. It's time for Joe to get inside the box. Okay, folks. So our contestants have been kind enough to change places around the set. And before we move on to the next game, here is where we stand. Matt has one time penalty. He's sitting at nine. It's five. Sandy, the happiest woman on earth, has banked 50 seconds. And Joe is at minus 15. And speaking of Joe, he's inside the box. Hey, Joe. How you doing, Sam? How you doing? Uh, gotta do better. Gotta do better. You too now. You look happy, but you don't look as happy as Sandy. I need you to pump up the smiles, OK? OK. All right, cool. so you're going to be guessing the name of a reality series. Okay. All right? You're going to yep. be asking these guys questions. Remember, guys, every mistake costs you five seconds. Play along at home. See if you can guess it faster than Joe. Here we go. Two minutes. Start the clock. Uh, holy cow. Matt. Yeah. Is it a competition? Yes. Sandy, is there a cash prize? Yes. Matt, does it involve teams? Yes. Yes. Sandy, it's does it? Is it one person? Is one person the winner? No. Uh, Matt, does it always involve singing? No. Sandy, are these are there judges? Yes. Incorrect. That's a no. A time penalty for Sandy. Go ahead. Uh, Matt, are all the competitors women? No. Uh, Sandy. Are all the competitors men? No. Matt, does it always feature teenagers? No. Sandy, is everyone involved a professional? No. Lots of no's Matt, there. do you do people get eliminated? Yes. Stuff. One Sandy, clue, do, do do team members vote against each other? No. Matt, do they perform physical challenges? Yes. That's five yeses. Stop the clock. Here is your first clue, Joe. The teammates on this show know each other. Three seconds, reality series. That's time, we're gonna start the clock. Ask your next question, Joe. Matt, does it take uh, place in many locations? Yes. Sandy, are all players sometimes forced to eat unusual things? Yes. Uh, Matt, is there big money involved? Yes. Good stuff. Sandy, yes. do players always stay at Trump Towers? No. Uh, Matt, do players buy plane tickets? Yes. Sandy, did it originally air on NBC? No. Uh, Matt, did it originally air on CBS? Yes. All right, that's five. Stop the clock. Here is your next clue. 
It's like a worldwide scavenger hunt. Amazing Race? Amazing Race is correct. Way to go, Joe! Now, are you a fan of The Amazing Race? Yes, great, great show. It is a great show. Yeah. It's more like a gang show to me than a reality series, but it's nice to get a little snippet into how people react under pressure, isn't sure, it? Sure, why not? And you reacted amazingly well under pressure, and that means only one thing, folks. When we come back, we're going to put Matt back inside the box. So join us. Welcome back. So round one is in the books, and let's tell you where we stand. Sandy has a bank of 45 seconds. Joe, who answered his puzzle with 24 seconds remaining, is sitting at nine seconds. And Matt is sitting at minus five. Matt is also sitting inside the box. Hey, Matt, how you doing? I'm just trying to get some time under my belt, Sam. Good stuff. You had, a, you had it close last time. You knew the guy's face. You just didn't I know his name. Him. Here we go again, your second time. This time, you're guessing the name of a series. Okay. All right, so remember, guys, five seconds for every wrong answer you give out here. You can only gain time in there, and let's hope you do that now, Matt. So we're going to give you two minutes. Start the clock. Sandy, is the show a comedy? Yes. Uh, Joe, are the main characters mostly female? No. Uh, Sandy, is the character's name in the title? No. Joe, are any of the main characters married? Yes. Uh, That's incorrect. That's a no. A time penalty for Joe. Next question, Matt. Sandy, are any of the main characters teens? Yes. Uh, no. Joe, uh, is it sometimes set at a work or job? No. Incorrect. That's a yes. Your third yes and another time penalty for Joe. Sandy, uh, is it mainly set at a hospital? No. Uh, Joe, is it mainly set in an office? No. Uh, Sandy, is it set mainly in the city? No. Joe, is there a city title in the... Is, is there a city in the title? No. All right, next question. Sandy, is it set mainly in the suburbs? Yes. Oh. That's incorrect. That's a no. A minute three left. Next question. Uh, Joe, did it debut in the 90s? Yes. All right, one more for a clue. Sandy, is it a spin-off? No. Joe, is it based on a British series? No. Sandy, has it been made into a movie? No. Joe, have other shows been spun off of it? No. Come on now, 43 seconds left, Matt. Sandy, have any of the actors starred in other series? Yes. All right, that's five. Stop the clock. Here is your first clue. This show features aliens. Three seconds, looking for a show. All right, it's Alf. It's not, and uh, we're going to restart the clock and go ask your next question. Uh, Sandy, uh, does it co-star Jane Leaves? No. Uh, Joe, does it co-star Chris Knott? No. Okay, uh, 23 seconds. Sandy, are the main roommates, are the main characters roommates? No. Incorrect, that's a yes, another yes. 16 seconds left, they are roommates, go ahead. That's it, look at that case file, so you got 10 seconds left. Joe, does the main character have a pet monkey? No. Three seconds. Sandy, is there a wife who's never... That's time. The correct answer was Third Rock from the Sun. Oh. You didn't bank any time there, and that means only one thing. It's time for Sandy to get back inside the box. All right, everybody. The contestants have moved around on the set, and here are the scores quickly before we move on. Joe is sitting at minus one second. Matt is sitting at minus five, and Sandy has banked 35 seconds. Let's see what she's doing inside the box. Hey, Sandy. Hey. All right, Sandy, here it is. You are going to be guessing the name of a TV series. You've got two minutes. Start the clock. Joe, is the show a comedy? No. Matt, is the show a drama? Yes. Joe? Joe, did it debut in the 70s? No. Matt, did it debut in the 80s? No. Joe, did it debut in the 90s? Yes. Another yes. Matt, is it an action-adventure show? No. Joe, are the main characters mostly male? No. Matt, is the character's name in the title? No. Joe, are the main characters mostly female? Yes. Incorrect. That's a no. A minute 26 left. Matt, are any of the main characters married? Yes. Joe, are any of the main characters children? No. 
Matt, is it set at a hospital? No. Joe, is it set at a police station? No. Matt, is it set uh, in an office? No. Does, Joe, does it revolve around a home or a family? No. Incorrect. That's a yes. One more for a clue, Sandy. Matt, is there a city in the title? No. Joe, is it set mainly in the city? Yes. All right, that's five. Stop the clock. Here's your first clue. Heather Locklear plays a devious vixen on this show. Three seconds. All right, that's time. We're going to start the clock. Ask your next question, Sandy. 50 seconds left. M Matt, is it set in Washington? No. Joe, is it set in Texas? No. Matt, is it set in California? Yeah. Next question. Uh, does the series co-star Tiffany Amber Thiessen, Joe? No. Does the series star Michelle Lee? Hmm, huh? No. May I make a guess? Please? All right, stop the clock. What is your guess? Is it Dynasty? It is not Dynasty. That's going to cost you five seconds. We're going to restart the clock. Ask your next question. You've got 27 seconds left. Matt, does the show star Faith Ford? No. Joe, was Pamela Anderson a recurring guest star? No. Are there any non-human characters, Matt? No. Do any of the stars now appear on Desperate Housewives? No. May I make Incorrect. a guess? That's a yes. You want to make a guess? We'll stop the clock. What is your guess? Was this the show T.J. Hooker? The show is not T.J. Hooker. And we're going to restart the clock. Five seconds left. Did character, characters cross from other shows? time. Oh. Unfortunately, it's Melrose Place. You oh. weren't able to bank any time there. And that means we're going to put Joe back inside the box. Okay, folks, so here is where we sit after the players have changed positions. Matt is sitting at minus five, Sandy at 25 seconds bank, Joe at minus 16. Let's check in on Joe. Joe, you ready? I think so. Excellent. You are going to be guessing the name of a male actor. We're giving you two minutes. Start the clock. Matt, was he the star in the 70s? No. Uh, Sandy, was he the star of the show in the 80s? Yes. Matt, was, uh, is he an adult? Yes. Sandy, has he starred in movies? Yes. yes Matt, is he a stand-up comic? No. Sandy, has he uh, starred in a comedy series? No. Uh, Matt, has he starred in a drama series? Yes. One Sandy, has he starred in an action series? Yes. That's five. Stop the clock. Here is your first clue. He starred with Cheech Marin, male actor. Three seconds. That's time. We're going to restart the clock. Ask your next question. If you think you know who it is, you can risk five seconds and take a guess. Going to take a guess. All right, stop the clock. Remember, you lose five seconds. What's your guess? Uh, Kevin Costner. It's not Kevin Costner. We're going to restart the clock. It cost you five seconds. Ask your next question, Joe. OK, Matt, does he have a TV talk show? No. Sandy, did he almost drown in a boating accident? No. Matt, did he write a best-selling book? No. Sandy, was he on a show set in Miami? Yes. Uh, can I guess? All right, stop the clock. What is your guess? Don Johnson. Don Johnson is correct. You did that with 59 seconds. Great job, buddy. And that means that the winner of the first two rounds is Joe. Give it up for Joe. Excellent. So, folks, when we come back, Joe will be going up against me in the winner's round for as much as $10,000 on Inside the Box. Okay, folks, and we're back after pulling it out in his final shot inside the box. Joe is in the winner's round. Let's check in with him. Joe, how you doing? Nervous, a little bit nervous. You're a little bit nervous. Yeah. Good stuff. Now, as you know, the rules are a little bit different. Let me explain it to the folks at home. You're going to still get two minutes, but you're only going to get three guesses and three guesses only. Okay. The clock will not stop, and as the time ticks down, so does the amount of money. So literally, time is money. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're guessing the name of a female character. Two minutes, start the clock. Uh, is she an adult? Yes. Uh, did she show debut in the 60s? No. Uh, did it debut in the 80s? No. Did her show debut in the 90s? Yes. Uh, is she a comedian? No. 
Uh, is she in, a, in an animated series? No. Is she in a drama? Yes. Uh, does she have uh, blonde hair? No. Uh, does she have red hair? No. Does she have dark hair? Yes. Uh, does her show revolve around work? No. Does her show revolve around family? Yes. All right, that's five. Here is your first clue. She is an orphan. We're looking for a male, female character, a character. If you don't have a guess, keep going, Joe. You've got a minute 17 left. Uh, is her, is her love interest played by Scott Speedman? No. Is her brother played by Scott Wool? Yes. Uh, is her brother played by, uh, is she the oldest sister in her family? Yes. Um, is she part of the family of witches? No. Is she the star violinist? No. Is she a recovering alcoholic? No. Can I guess? You can guess. What is it? Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell. We're looking for a female character. Sure. Character. Oh, what's her name? Now think about it. 40 seconds left. Think of the show. See her on the show. Go through the alphabet if it helps, Joe. Anything at all. Deep in thought. Maybe asking a question helps. Maybe getting another clue helps. Although you know the name of the actress. This is tough, isn't it, Joe? Uh... Maybe go through the alphabet. Maybe think of her last name first. Work backwards. Anything at all. You've got 10 seconds left. Come on, buddy. You're down to $1,000. Five seconds left. Oh, you're oh. rocking your brain, literally. Oh, my god. Oh, that's time, and oh. it was Julia oh. Salinger. <laughs> it was Julia Salinger, but oh. great job, buddy. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was great. You did a great job. I want to thank you for that. I want thank to thank you. all of our contestants, and I want to thank you for watching Inside the Box. Metropolis. Bulldog cuts to the chase. With all due respect, you're an idiot. <laughs> These promos are easy money. It's a question of integrity. Fraser, tonight in TV Metropolis. If TV lives here.